Hey, it's Liz again, back with another lesson of the 50 little things that you can do to grow your neurological connection in a relationship. And as I always say, relationships are two nervous systems having a conversation. They can be fun conversations or they can be real clash conversations and you get to choose. You can change it. So this is a lesson about laughing. Laughing is one of those things that creates a neurological bond like nothing else. Have you ever seen the movie called Step Brothers? When all of a sudden they say, oh my God, did we just become best friends? <laughs> it's hilarious and raunchy if you haven't seen it, but it happens to all of us. Sometimes an amazing belly laugh is the thing that actually connects you to the best friends in your life. And it's one of those things that as a group or as a couple, when you can laugh together, your nervous system feels safe and warm and more and more connected. So here's what I don't mean. You're not laughing at them, <laughs> especially with spouse or children. If you're laughing and they're not, it's not funny. You're actually creating a neurological mismatch. What you need to do is find things that you laugh together at. So now it's pretty easy. There are things that people watch online that are silly and goofy that you know your uh, spouse or child's humor is going to appreciate. So you can find those things and look at them together and laugh together. Usually it puts you in proximity, proximity with each other. You're close and you laugh together and that really grows uh, your closeness. However, you can send them to each other as well. Like at work, something that you know is their humor and they're gonna appreciate. So this one means you need to know what really makes them laugh. It could even be something that really makes them smile. So like with my son, I will send him things that have to do with baby animals, puppies, that kind of thing, because I know he loves it. So anywhere on the planet, I can make a neurological connection with him by sending him something that I know will just make him melt and smile. And he knows his mom just thought about him in a way that he likes, right? You can do this with your spouses. You can do this with your friends. It's like having an inside joke and there's nothing better than that. You can also find maybe TV shows together that you, you both like and that you'll laugh over laughing together again. It's just, there's nothing better than that. If you combine that with being close to them, you're creating stronger and stronger neurological bonds. So find something that you both can get a chuckle out of and utilize it as a tool. If your spouse come home, comes home and normally you're in the habit of starting and talking out about the problems of the day. Oh, I've had such a horrible day. Oh, the kids did this. Oh, the dog crapped on the floor. Shift it up. Let your eyes light up when they come in. Say to them, oh my gosh, hi, my love. I'm so happy you're home. I was just watching this thing that is hilarious. Can I show it to you? Get their consent. Can I show you this? Don't just shove things in their face. Can I show this to you? Now you have done several things. You've let your eyes light up. You've seen them. You've welcomed them home and told them how happy you are that they're there. Now you're gonna add on something to laugh together about, to put your problems in front. Start with this laughter. Start with something that actually bonds you. Maybe they might be like, oh my God, I saw something too. And they'll show you. Maybe for 10 minutes, you guys will laugh together. And then when you start talking about the issues that need to be talked about, you're talking about them in the way that you're flowing together. You're working as a team. It can change everything. Don't be afraid to put fun and laughter in front of problems of any kind. The problems will always be there. But if you're greeting each other with problems every time, you're just creating a neurological challenge for each other. You represent problems and nobody wants to be that in each other's lives so add in some fun add in some laughter another way to do it is audiobooks if you travel together find a fun audiobook janet ivanovich is one of those that my husband and i have listened to 
They're crime mysteries, they're super silly, and they're a lot of fun. And we like to listen to them when we travel together. Something that we bond over, that really puts us in a great state and a great mood. And something that allows us to have a shared interest, where maybe we don't have a lot of shared interests. So utilize these tools. As always, let us know how this is working for you. Let us know if it creates a little miracle in a relationship for you. I know for myself, it's created many, many little miracles. And these tools actually not just strengthen relationships, but help them blossom and grow in a whole new trajectory.